All right, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. <laughs> All right, today we are going to continue our conversation again on getting a job in UK. So there are a couple of things we've learned ever since um, the last video. First of all, before I start, I would like to express my gratitude to my personal person, Ui. <laughs> Ui has been a fan of this program and his contribution has been very helpful. I want to appreciate you plenty, plenty. I also want to give a shout out to Adiola who just arrived in Aberdeen. Adiola, I hope this place, well, outside the snow, well, let me say outside the cold, I hope this place will be very enjoyable to you. Uh, sit back and I guess you are going to enjoy yourself in Aberdeen. All right, so back to the conversation. So there are many things we've learned ever since um, our last video about getting a job in Aberdeen. I'm going to share as many of them as I can with you. So let's start with LinkedIn. Here's what we'll do, right, right in, terms of get, in terms of LinkedIn, right? Many of us have already given up on, you know, uh, LinkedIn and job sites, right? But it's not necessarily the way we think. There are just a few things we just need to pay attention to in order to get our, um, our message across. Now, in the last video I did, or uh, the last time I spoke to you guys about this matter, I talked about how to beat beating the uh, ATS, the job, let me just say the CV sorting software you get. Um, if you've not watched that video, I would probably leave, leave a link somewhere up here so that you would take a look at it and see um, if that applies to you. Now, LinkedIn. When you get on LinkedIn, right, look for all of the job agencies, all of the agencies that are in your area. So if you're in Dundee, for instance, find all the agencies that are in Dundee. Chances are that they would probably be recruiting for companies in their immediate locality, right? So find as many companies as possible that are in Dundee. When you find them, follow them, right? Don't go and start sending them funny messages here too. Just follow them. Find their HRs, right? Their recruitment specialists and recruitment persons and all that that work in the company. Follow all of them as well, right? Now, here's what's going to happen. They will post, every once in a while, they will post a row. So the HR will post a row and then share it on the company's page, right? Once he shares it on the company's page, you will be one of the very, very first persons to see that uh, information, that notification. And once you first see that information, you can now easily make an early application. The key here is to make an application as early as possible so that as they are posting it, you are making an application and then they are seeing it and they are vetting it there and then, and then you are probably on the short list, most likely will be on the short list. Now, this does not always work, but that is a, it, it, it works like like more than half the time right as they are posting the job and you are sending your application very early they are seeing it and they are vetting it as well also don't forget to go to the company's websites right and most of the time you would find things like uh, they will tell you put your email address here in order to get uh, in order to get job alerts and all that right if you see that on their website please subscribe right put your email so that you'll be getting a job alert so in the morning when you wake up when you put on your system and you check your mail you'll be seeing job alerts from the different companies if you open social media you'll be seeing notifications from different companies as well Sure, you get right so if you put all of that stuff together you will find that wifey is here if you put all of that stuff together you'll find that you'll be one of the very first persons to get a job or sorry to get the notification of the job right now there are other things i'm going to add let me go and drink water first i will be back so i know many of us have totally given up on job sites like you did and all that but it's not always that bad right and um i think if you if you if you understand what is going on behind the scene then um we can use it to our advantage if you live in a particular area right the first thing you need to do is to look for jobs in that area right so go to indeed and search by location and search by the location that you are in for example like i said if you're in edinburgh um search for jobs that are in edinburgh don't put any job description just search for edinburgh and then search for a reasonable radius maybe like 25 to 30 radio 30 mile radius now the whole idea is that if you are let's say you want to do a retail job for instance right most times what you will call the role is not what the company will call the role 
right you can call it a shopkeeper somebody will call it a retail assistant somebody else will call it a team member or something so don't put anything in terms of the title of the job just put the area first and then search in a reasonable radius like 25 miles for instance right now um you also need to sort by date right try to sort the job listing so that the most recent ones will come first right and then you also sort by timing right look for jobs that were posted in the last 24 hours most of the time when we open indeed we'll find that some jobs that were posted 30 plus 30 plus days ago we will now be applying to those jobs i mean come on let's face fast half of the time right half the time those jobs that were posted 30 plus days ago 25 plus days ago they fill those roles already right so you want to look for jobs that are just they were just posting now 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 are you getting those are the ones that those ones are still they are still likely open and those are the ones that you can easily just jump on the train and you know just apply very quickly right now of course if you have your cv already saved in in in, in indeed right as you just wake up in the morning and you put on your system and you refresh that page and you see the jobs that were posted within the last 24 hours in the area that you are in so just look through those jobs um check through them one by one one by one find the one that fits what you are able to do right your experience also remember that our hosts value experience over degrees right so our hosts like to see places where you've had those experiences before right how you have applied you know what they are looking for and you've applied it in a different company in a different setting before so you need to focus more on your experience and then your degree can come or your qualification can come a whole lot later now i also know that one of the things that we are used to doing is that we are used to applying for jobs that we are overqualified for that can be a bit of a problem now if you find those kinds of jobs that we are overqualified for let us just focus on the minimum qualification that is required for that job right for example you will find very many retail jobs especially that it's um, retail jobs that are like floor assistants they don't need degrees for some of those jobs right you see some of them just need just the very basics you know um able to speak english able to uh, you know you've passed maybe high school or something so if, you, if you've done high school and then you have maybe one or two degrees no problem but you don't you may not need to put your second or your third degree because that may be a bit of a problem when somebody is screening for your job or for your role <clears throat> so now by the time you look through indeed and you have those very recent jobs and you apply for them again and again and again and again and again just keep looking look at the ones that work for you apply look again check for the ones that work for you apply you find that usually if you refresh during work days you see people keep posting jobs especially during work days right and then as they are posting you are applying you are usually one of those first people you'll be one of those first people that will be called or um uh that the the recruiter would call and want to have a chat with right all right so that's about indeed um i'm going to drop a few more tips but first of all you need to drink a bit more water so i will see you guys later. all right ladies and gentlemen on a final note this video is getting a little long so let me just summarize it as much as possible on a final note right one of the things we've also seen um, from recruiters is that the moment you mention you are a student they will just end the conversation and say oh i'm sorry we can't employ you at this time because you are limited to 20 hours now their concerns are correct everybody wants to be on the side of the law which is very fine but there's one part that people usually miss out a lot right the limitation is 20 hours during term time that last part usually is missed out a lot right i almost missed an interview because of that clause right so um the recruiter told me oh i'm sorry you work uh you have a limitation of 20 hours i said yes i have a limitation of 20 hours but it is 20 hours during term time you get and then of course the recruiter asked for a couple of documents you know to show the duration of the term time and all of that all of that and i sent it to her and then uh, you know we we're able to move on you know past that stage you get now i also want to point out that as a student one of the things that you have a better luck or better advantage with is if you are doing temporary jobs 
most of the jobs you see on indeed they will tell you whether it is permanent full-time you know temporary and all that so if you go for the temporary jobs the possibility of you the chances of you um you know getting invites to those jobs is a little bit higher because they are temporary jobs right and then if you're also going to write a cover letter for those jobs please specify because it will help you a lot right you can mention that you are a student and mention that you are in your holiday period and you have unlimited work period work work um work hours right now you it's also nice for you to mention to um to the recruiter that you have to follow the terms of your visa and you have no plans of violating the terms of your visa at any time so um, even if they offer you a role that tries to violate the terms of your visa you, you don't have any plans of accepting it so look out for temporary jobs look out for contract like fixed durations those are the ones you can do during your sea holiday for instance right and then um, yeah so all right so that's what i have for today if you have any additions or addendum please feel free to add it to the comment section it's very helpful i also want to again appreciate everybody who has been contributing one way or the other to this conversation um we need to as more things come up and as we continue to learn more things i will continue to share them with you so that i would have a fantastic and jolly good time so see you guys in the next video oh by the way just um let me give you a bit of a quick expo the next video is going to be very interesting so i would consider subscribing it's just a button below this video or something um i'm actually going to bring back my baby so <laughs> uh i will see you guys in the next video right bye <laughs>